Let's get into it. It's your boy Mikey. We talking media, the realest one on YouTube. You know, a lot of people say that, but it just has a catch to it. So I just throw that shit in there. Let's go this morning, man, talking about the situation. We back to the passport, bros. That's the topic of topics. I, you know, I told the motherfuckers put the camera down, but I'm I'm gonna give you a different shot today. There's a little interview here. Looks like Tanya TKO, 200k subscribers, doing 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 good for YouTube. You know, I'm trying to catch up to a 30, 30, 32 people and appreciate y'all watching. But let's get down to business with the passport, bros. If you think I'm going to bash them right now, y'all yeah, been doing that a little while too much, right? I said, hey, man, if you're going to do your business, do your business in silence. That's my only issue. And the next thing they came back to me was, listen, bro, other races have been doing this for eons and peons. And this may be a little bit longer video, but let's maybe take a peek at it. But let's get into the conversation on a woman that raised a flag on Austin Holloman, Stephanie Ribeiro. And we're hoping this doesn't become a fucking total trend for the men um, that used to be going out there back in the day and didn't have any trouble. You know, you know, guys that have always been going out there, blacks already. Yeah, some Hispanic that have been having their fun, but not really publicizing it. Um, the YouTube thing is for the money. There's no doubt about it. The money on YouTube is causing a lot of dry snitching to happen. It's just a fact of the matter. People are hearing the salaries they can make from just doing videos, talking, and it has become an epidemic where we started to do media instead of actually doing work, and it's a problem, but we got to deal with it. Here it is. I want to go into the video in a certain part here where they mention the other race that no one's talking about a lot on what they do for prostitution. And, and, and you know what? It, it is true. So I have to be real and let it play. The problem is, I'm just going to mention before I get to the end, there is a different standard for different races. So let's just keep going and roll this. The women, the suffering of the LGBT people, the suffering about people in other countries, etc. So we are in this kind of trap that makes us believe that through this project, this um, uh, hegemonic masculinity project, we can be better men. And that's frustrating to see men doing like this, uh, passport bros, and et cetera, and et cetera. And there's yeah. this complication. Well, let me ask you this question. So you're talking about black men, but we also talked about white men. White men have been doing this since before the colonial era. As a matter of fact, this is how Brazil got so mixed, right? Everything changed there, okay? Is there a double standard? Wow, I, I hate to be doing this. Man, I was really for... Again, I you know, I've even talked to Austin Holliman. You know, I said, hey, man, you're, you're already in the bad light. Take it and run with it because you're already fucked. You know, you know, I support brothers getting money. But Lord God, did the videos that we're making. I'm not, I'm not, listen, the context of what was asked is similar to questions that are asked in the United States, except the culture is different down there. And you didn't understand the customs, therefore, you're putting the African African excuse me, the American experience tag to girls in the South. And I'm not gonna I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. For all the men that think that the, the rest of the world is open and promiscuous, no, the rest of the world makes you pay. United States is a is a country of freedom where women feel they're at the same level as men, right? Maybe they are. I'm not, you know, but I'm just looking at salaries, but they feel they're equal to men. So therefore they do the same things as men. That's why pros promiscuity is so high. And they said that's why there's a slut shaming movement. They don't care. You have a much better chance, my friends, <laughs> in, in, in a, a truly feminist country, in a feminist country, no offense, that has a of Caucasian birth, uh, Europe, many parts of Europe and the United States to have the one night stand versus versus going to these other countries where it's not necessarily customary to sleep with a guy the same night. 
Um, and, and the other thing that we keep showing off and, 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 and thinking that we're fucking gods down there. Listen, the American dollar is a strong, strong vehicle. I get it. It's cheaper to do things a little bit cheaper. But now I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. When you look at all the prices that have come about because people are, are kind of getting an understanding of what the price differences are. Maybe somebody's talking or saying this is cheap or they're seeing certain races spend more than they would expect. They get in their heads, and they, that's when you get the gringo prices. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then you do the difference of the math and the plane ticket, and then you, and then you figure out, holy shit, this is the same price as the USA. Let's keep going. Mixed, right? Brazil yeah. got mixed because of the because of the Portuguese that colonized and brought so many people over from Africa, they don't like and it. then capital R worded them. And then now there's a lot of people who are mezclado, mestizo in Brazil. So white men have been doing this. They continue to do it. What's different about the passport bros that has that has you you all they up don't in like arms? That. No black girl. Yeah, that's the thing for me because this is a colonial project. No. So we can't talk about we can't. Talk. Do, do you see? So she happened to catch the black guy's video, and I'm warning black guys. I'm, I'm, I'm warning you again. Uh, because when you lose a war, and you've lose, lost a lot of wars in the eyes of the media, you see why I keyed in on in the eyes of the media, the black man is probably looked at as the lowest economic structure creature in the world, even those who are coming in now uh, from Mexico, et cetera look at you as lower okay that's just the fact of the matter all right that's just the way it is so when you have those um those things against you okay those things against you transitioning in um it it it, be, it becomes it becomes a pain to get respected and let me tell you the first people who will dis disrespect you say you can't do business whatever it's going to be your own race, a woman, okay? Your own race, a woman is going to treat you the worst and attack you because you're easily attacked. There's no one to protect you. You don't own any media. And in the eyes of the media, you don't own anything that's tangible where they can stop you, all right? Um, the race that they will respect the most in, the, in their eyes, because again, they they live here. You know, when you live in an American country, right, founded by whites, um, the, the superior should be the people who fucking conquered the country. That's normal, makes sense, right? But the expectation from these women, right, from all different races, because it's, I remember I told you, status is the key. Power is the key, okay? The expectation is, why can't you guys be as high as they are? And they don't realize, in my opinion, this is my opinion, blacks have done tremendously well in this country. Every race has done tremendously well in this country. Reason being, it's a capitalistic country, baby. The white guy doesn't care. Get me money. The more money you make, the more money I make. Thank you, taxes. They don't give a shit, right? Just don't live by me. <laughs> you know, but, but at the end of the day, the very, very up rich don't necessarily care the main problems you'll have is from the lower lower than rich class and i'm talking i would say you know to, and i hate to say this but it's, it's true five million down five million down are probably going to give you the eye right when you drive a certain car uh when you live in a certain house they're going to fucking question it the guys in the billion dollar status sorry guys uh yeah they, they may be partially biased but they're not really worried about you like that it, it, as a whole not everyone as a whole they're not really worried about you everyone's just a slave pushing their narrative um coming back to that uh black men have a big struggle when it comes to respect factor uh when you talk you know when you make a statement uh, a lot of the times the black women are making faces at you right they're saying what the fuck this guy you go to some uh mcdonald's or whatever or you go you know you, you say hi to a janitor or something like that and you're just trying to show respect to the lady i've seen it and i've gone through it they'll give you an attitude white guy comes up smile on the faces smiling faces big smile happy you know, because the projection is you ain't doing shit and they're doing shit. I want to tell you to make this video of value. 
when you don't get the attention like that and no one's really checking for you, right? Even if with the disrespect, it's tougher to get into levels, but it's also an opportunity to focus on those things to get better at because no one's going to fucking bother you, okay? Um, and you got to sometimes separate from these from these other groups that try to talk to you and waste your time about some, do you play sports? Let's watch sports. Let them be, let them go. Since you're so irrelevant, go ahead and show your relevancy and just, you know, you got to cut people off at the end of the day to get to your goal. They say, hey, man, I'll, I'll get back to you when I get get at least to where you're at or better if he's successful, right? Come with that mentality. That's a solution. Use that to your advantage. No offense, man. I know you're going to say, well, I need the, I need the tail. But the thing is, the tail doesn't really get you nowhere. And that's kind of what you're seeing here is, hey, because of your status and you looked at as a lower tier man, you really can't go out here and get busy like this. And I'm saying that as well. Because of our status, we got to move differently. We haven't reached a scale where we can do what the fuck we want. The other guys, no offense, they colonized. Did you hear the statement? They colonized and took it over by force. So there's never going to be a racist statement towards them. And plus, they control the media immediately when that comes up. Strike one, strike two, strike three. You're out. They'll take it down. Look at Jerry Jones, right? Kyrie. You're looking at all these different situations. You see the double standard every freaking day. Black man, you deal with it every single day. Don't tell me you don't. I see it. I know it. I go through it. It makes you stronger, my friends. Stay. Sometimes sometimes it's good to stay away and go, yeah, you're better than me, and then focus on your shit. Let's keep going, baby. Talk uh. about liberation yeah. and transformation, or even in revolution. If you are doing the same steps, if you are, uh, if you, we are uh, uh, connected with a project that uh, is responsible for death, for murder, uh, for rape, uh, for violence, especially uh, against the black women. Uh, because that's, as we told uh, Tonya, it's colonial project. And how the colonia was made, was made about violence and rape. Okay, and right. okay so, what, right. so, so question so, so for you, you, Stephanie. Again. Okay, sorry, darling. Have, I'm sorry. Back to, you didn't answer the question, my brother. It was founded by colonialism. So where he was going, and again, I have to play both sides. We talk in media. I'm black myself. I can't be I can't be that stupid, right? Again, I think what these gentlemen are doing out there is outrageous. It's outrageous, right? Because it's too much videotape. The thumbnails are crazy. But the white man, if he does it, right? And I'm saying the white man as in uh I would say people of any other in that ethnicity hasn't appeared to be called out. I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna hit the YouTube on my fucking browser and I'm gonna actually hunt. Four, white man. I'm gonna hunt Brazilian prostitution and see who's actually making these videos. I know there's one Negro that I hate that you know that I hate what he's doing from Jersey. I really do. He's from Jersey, man. God damn it, bro. I don't know why he was putting out where to get the prostitutes, where to get this. Okay. Um Wow, so there's been a lot of these black assassins. Looks like they had one. Uh, checking. <laughs> ah, check. I told. Check, check. He switched up now, but boy, that was his thing. You check. You can't unsee this, bro. Sorry, sorry. But look, look at. You want to talk about exploit exploitation? Look at this guy. Uh, this is Figueroa Street in the United States. Uh, the sick man traveling to Brazil for sex with children. Okay, looks like 4 million views. So another thing is, because it's your culture, you're more focused on it. Okay? Because it's your culture, you're more focused on it. So you do think it's a bigger than issue than, than it really is. Tony K had 27K views. This is 12 years ago with 4 million views. A sick man traveling. I'm just going to quickly jump into this, man. I don't want to go too long. I'm going to kind of skip around and, and see the faces. Uh, what the fuck? Do I subscribe to Andrew Tate? I don't know what this is. I, I, they're not showing faces necessarily of the Johns, but you know there's a song already about the Johns. You know there's a there's a... What was it to catch a predator? Remember that shit? No face is shown, which is interesting. 
Why aren't there any faces shows? I'm just going through this. This is, cr- is this, is this the John? During the day, business. No faces. Interesting. 12 years ago. No faces to this. I'm sorry. 12 years ago, the sick man traveling to Brazil for sex with children. I would say a vast majority has to be one race. I'm sorry. It's, and, I don't, and it's not black. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, you know, this this these this is sewer guys. I mean, yeah, Miko Worldwide. You you started that, right? You know, Raphael. The G, a quick in El Centro Medellin. Let's see this one. Four point six billion views. I'm My sorry, name is guys. Al Barlos, and I am. Now this real Span- I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I've seen more Spanish videos that have been much more explicit, much more explicit with the sexual exploitation. Uh, I gotta be honest. And I work for. The problem is we're or we gotta move differently. I believe this Jeezy's is a uh, is a, a white man, but I cannot. He's not showing his face, but I believe I think he talks a little. Let me see. He's actually given the location. Okay, this video wasn't taken down. I'm just trying to show his face. There's a lot of video, especially Asia, and and that's why I know it was white. Especially Asia, Dubai prostitution. This is an epidemic. 1.3 million views. You know. You know, this looks like a pretty good video. Why men men will love, okay? Will love, okay? Not must, okay? Let's keep going. How to treat escorts according to an escort, okay? Brazil's child prostitutes. This is interesting, guys. Because, again, I'm getting a little bit perturbed because they're not showing faces. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the problem. How much for a program? Twenty for one hour, one program. This young child offers me. Okay, no, he's he's putting himself in a good light. Where's the Johns at? Where are the fucking Johns at? Where are the fucking Johns? Nothing. Know that we need to. Nothing. Today, they're learning how to. Pre- Nothing. Nothing. I just did. Nothing. Situation. Nothing. Escape. If you think I'm getting out here, hey man, they're not showing you white guys. I'm showing you how they move silently. That's the fucking problem, you dummies. Can you can you find them? I'm trying to. I I saw a couple in Asia where these guys were actually going into the to the uh, um, <sighs> complete dating guy. You know this this guy's showing ass, but he's a smaller channel, Brazilian prostitute. Okay. Yeah, this this gentleman here, I think he's white. Again, again, this this is the start start of this fucking pandemic. Yes, it started a year ago, but it started getting men comfortable about actually going to these countries and doing their thing. Um, how much for the hotel? Uh, one, five dollars or one hundred dollars. Okay, for the hotel. Okay, I gotta so. stop this. What the fuck are you guys doing here for YouTube, man? Jesus fucking Christ. You can't get any advertising money with them fucking things that were doing that shit, you dummies. You can't get advertising money. The moment they see this, they say, I can't advertise with that. The ad goes down, you get demonetized, dummy. Oh my God.
Ah, I see the skin. I see the skin. Okay, appears to be Hispanic or white. All right. That's facts. That's facts. Red light district. Viva Mimosa. Red light district. To be demolished. All right, this seems to be a prostitution area in Brazil. Let's see it. These are local men. It's always a black woman advocating to try to stop this shit, to be honest with you. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, they don't I, I'm not familiar, but I don't know, I don't think there's a lot of black prostitutes in these countries. I mean I don't know. I guess I'm not checking for them. <laughs> a lot of men are check, checking like that, right? When you go out there. I mean, I don't I don't know what I see a lot of or not a lot of because I guess you got to be in it to see it. I mean, I've seen them, definitely seen them in, in certain places where they solicit you in other countries. Uh, Colombia, they will solicit you. They'll come up to you. Uh, I haven't really seen that in Brazil in my travels. So. But I'm trying to figure out why the black woman to advocate. Okay, there's videos. So, so you know, I, I gotta give, I gotta give men some slack here, right? There are videos, but you know, there we go. Frustrated black man search for hookers overseas. The dark side of Dubai. This guy, this ain't that ain't black guys yet. You understand? Uh, inside the underage sex trafficking brothels of Peru's illegal gold mines. Okay, sex in the Amazon. I don't know what this elite underage shit is for. But underage, no offense, is mostly related to, um, oh, God, bro. What, what are you doing, bro? This this is a Nubian vlogger. Jesus. And he's just showing it, right? He's not, he's just showing it. They're just doing documentaries. I don't think they're necessarily promoting it. They're just showing the area. Uh, I, again, who who don't you see on the face of the camera putting his face out there? Look at this one. Zona Nota, Colombia. Interesting. He's showing it. He's showing it. He's white. I heard his voice. He's white or, or Spanish, right? The, I think they're, I like to call him one of the same. They, they like to be called white, so I tell them they're white. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit. Whatever you want to be, you want to be. I, I mean, I can care less. Just don't fucking bother me then. Um, the, the, the big thing about this is uh, these videos have been out there. I'm not going to lie to you. And much more explicit much more explicit than what we see from some of the brother videos. Um, the difference is the faces. Show me a black guy face. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, a white guy face. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, this guy is meddling the prostitution capital. Did, did he get any hit? This is an Indian guy. This is an Indian guy, but, you know, Indian guy, you're, you're, you know, no offense. That, you know, that their culture, it, it, their culture, they are starting to get a lot of power and a lot of money, by the way. Okay, slowly but surely, the Indians are really top of the charts. I'm just going back to monetary shit. You can't really tell them shit like that, right? And plus, no one's really checking for their culture, but they're checking for the black culture for some reason, right? They're heavy on you. They always will be because, again, you're looked at as the lowest, man. It's a deep, long video, but I think it's worth it. So that was the Indian guy, guys, all right? Ukraine, yes, it's heavy. It's heavy. You know, it's heavy. It's heavy. And thumbnail with a woman on it has been there for from ever. Female slavery, pr street prostitutes in Colombia, Right, we continue on. This is six six years ago. Um, okay, uh, I'm not sure what this guy is, but interesting. His title is his thing. For sure, for sure, I've seen Spanish videos. These Spanish guys, they're nuts, man. They 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 speak in Spanish, and they going right into the spots, bro. I mean, it's it's hilarious. 
uh, Justin Bieber sleeping with a prostitute, didn't show his face. You see what I'm getting at here? You see the difference? You see the issue? Uh, Red Light District in Lima. Okay. Yeah. Lima travel moments. All right. In Peru. Yeah. I mean, you kind of see. Now, you think we're left out, but we just saw Figueroa Street in uh, in Los Angeles. I, have, I hate to say I've never seen a prostitute on Figueroa when I've been in L.A. But again, I haven't been checking for it. I've been doing business out there. Oh yeah, this this guy's hilarious. I mean this this guy is the this guy right here is I'm not gonna show it, but he he has a full channel with with maps and everything. All right, he's a white guy. He actually shows his face, but he doesn't he doesn't go and show the girls and talk to the girls. Okay, and Brazilian child prostitution. I fucking agree. I can't stand the child prostitution thing. It's fucking disgusting. You know, under twenty years old, even you know. Unless the 18 is so well formed, but I really, I really can't check for them. Once I hear their voice, I cannot fucking uh, deal with younger woman on just a normal tip, right? Uh, prostitution, just fucking, you know, no offense, I don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, you, you can go out there and get girls regular, man. Um, keep going down. Yeah, this guy is another one. There's another Spanish guy. They wanted me deleted. Wow, yeah. You see, you see who puts his face up, fucking loud and clear. Austin, you see who puts his, you see who puts the fucking face up. Do you see a difference? Wow, your face is there. That's the difference, guys. Right? That's the fucking difference. I've been how many how many things I've been strolling down. Oh god, yeah. The the gay thing's huge in in Brazil. The Brazil and the gay men, actually, gay men have been going to South America forever for, for sex. Forever. So many transvestites and all that down there. Here goes Jimmy. Here goes Jimmy. Right? Is he blasted? Jimmy tips and experiences with whores. ONA archive. Look at this. Wow. Lizard, this is a Mexican guy. He's hilarious, though. He's just looking for the lizards. He's 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 showing them. Uh, I don't know what the, this. There goes service secret service prostitution scandal grows, and there goes some photos of them. You see, this this has been culturally accepted in these countries for people uh, of, of of different races forever. All right, forever. And 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 to be straight straightforward with you, to be straightforward with you, yes, white men have been doing it, are still doing it, will continue to do it forever. The problem is, like I've said, how long did it take us to find a white guy's face going out talking to girls, making them seem um, easy? Not too many faces shown. And the other thing is, I just mentioned to you, there is a double standard. There always will be. You're black. You're looked at as the lowest. They're going to eat you alive. They're coming for you right away. And and because of our status, you're looked at as lower. So of course they're gonna attack you. I mean this this is the truth. But it's it is true. It's a double standard, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, you know if I put him um, where to find prostitutes or something like that on here on this shit, you'll find plenty plenty of white uh, you know <laughs> plenty of white guys where to find prostitutes. Right? Let's let's check something out. Now again, there's one guy. I'm not gonna mention his name from from Jersey. You know what I'm talking about, bro. You fucking, you got, you crazy. You know how to book an escort. Where to find prostitutes? On okay, forget that. Hey, how prostitution ruined my life? Well, that's a white guy. It's a young white man. His face is on there. Okay, pimps and prostitutes. There goes the white guy. Okay, he's just doing a documentary. Okay. Uh, Davos, that's an interesting one. You have Davos. How to make sure, man, his arms is gone. Pro how to make sure a prostitute is not a is not a cop. Look at this guy. It's a white guy, guys. It, it you know I'm trying to go both sides, but be Seattle hookers. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. This 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 is a white guy. List crawler review. Okay, he's reviewing it as a white guy. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I, I, I can see this. Yeah, I can see this. The hard truth. I bet he's gonna say it's okay. Yeah, picking up hookers. He's putting prices on there. 
uh, for show. That's that's black. I mean, well, who else would do that shit? All right, so that's <laughs> who else fucking put a fucking you know put the price in the fucking thumbnail. I mean, who who else? Uh, Atlanta thousand dollar hooker again again just search through you can find some white but as the majority the guys putting their faces up and doing their interviews is the black guy and I think that's the biggest difference um, that's the biggest difference again the pictures we saw the white guys up top they wasn't actually with the girls they were just talking to it uh, but prostitution is an, in is an industry that, that that is used by anyone and everywhere uh, in these countries this regular um, um, in these countries, and and I I happen to be on the model. If a man is going to rape a woman, please go get a prostitute. Please, God heaven, please do not. Oh, this guy's hilarious. Yeah, this this guy's hilarious. He doesn't he doesn't go. He doesn't actually. But this is the one of the Hispanic guys that goes in detail. Uh, Spanish, it's ingrained. Again, you don't hear nothing about these guys. It's true. It's true. You don't hear nothing about these guys. But once a black man gets on that shit, I tell you, they look at you as the lowest. They're going to fucking eat you alive. And that's the truth. I hope this was a little bit of balance. Well, here you go. Thailand, you'll find it. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Underage prostitution. Here goes the white man over there. Underage prostitution. They're all over. They're all over Philippines. They're all over Asia. Right. But uh, doesn't doesn't. It doesn't exonerate us from acting differently, right? We got to move differently because we're, we're looked at as different. I just told you why for the millionth time. If you made your money off the drug money, I'm sorry. Your look, your appeal is not international. You're going to get trash, okay? More than likely, you're going to get trash. You know, there's certain type of clothing that you wear, et cetera, that puts you in a different standard, a different esteem. Um, and, you know, this is, this is it. This is one of those that... Kind of, you know, the white guy, fucking golf shirt, uh, shorts and, and some sandals doesn't stand out like a rapper with gold chains and fucking, uh, you know, you know, a Mary jeans or whatever the fuck is in now. Right. Walking down the street. I'm sorry. This doesn't doesn't go hand in hand. Right. Russian brothel. There goes a the white guy. Right. You know, the, 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 you know, or a white woman talking. I'm a, I'm going to end it here, man. Just to just to make it even. Um these these videos and that show the prostitution and what's going on you know no offense have, have, have been around forever indians for sure i know look at this netherlands it's, it's legal look at these white guys there guys look at the white guys but, but there's no problem right it's it's been known it's been known to be there guys and white guys have been doing it forever yes uh, the black man filed suit once he started to get the money because most of the time it was his woman out they were they were they were they were having sex with uh, but once he got some money, he started to gain some 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 power, right? Naval set, naval base. Okay, so I mean, this is where we're at. I mean, this is this is just where we're at. It's even. Only thing, like I told you, black man, you, their face ain't on there, right? Their face ain't on there. No woman wants to be looked at as cheap for the last fucking time. Do not show these women on fucking camera as if they're cheap. Stop talking about everything's cheap, cheap, cheap. They'll make it expensive, all right? They'll make it expensive on your dumb ass. No one wants to be looked at as cheap. When you do things, the main thing I'm going to tell you, you fucking idiots, move in silence, get a mentor, get somebody that's been there before a little bit, pay that man a little something, give him the money so we can teach you the ropes about the country and how to fucking move. The problem with our race is we fucking too loud, all right? That's the problem. Different type of prostitutes in Nigeria. We're too loud, all right? And that's the problem. This is a truck stop, and they're getting busy there. Run hard, get picked. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that, that pretty much does it. Little truck stop getting busy. How to pick up prostitutes. Well, there goes a white guy with a business 15 years ago. We're always late, by the way. Blacks are always late to the game. And I, I don't think Austin went this far to say they were prostitutes. He just said the girls were easy. So this is a little different epidemic. Sorry, Brazil woman. Sorry, you know, sorry to all the black woman channels. We got to we got to bring some balance. It's true. It's, it's, it's all over. It's with all the different men. White men have been doing this for forever, forever, forever. But uh, there's no there is shame on them because that's why there's, there's to catch a predator and all that shit. And they say end child prostitution. But, you know, the bigger deal here is once a black man does it, it's like a hundred times worse because we're looked at as the lowest. I'm going to sign off here. Your boy, yes, your boy Mikey. We talk immediately. Leave your comments below just to bring some balance, man. Yeah, it's all low. It's all racist, man. Let's let it, let, let's let it be. Stop showing your face on fucking camera. That's it. Peace. Gone.